I will pray with my spirit, but I will pray with my mind also. I will sing praise with my spirit, but I will sing with my mind also. I will sing with my mind also. speaks to people for their upbuilding and encouragement and consolation. The one who speaks in a tongue builds up himself, but the one who prophesies builds up the church. In the next hour, we will take you with us into another world, into the world of music, spirit, and meditation. Turn off the light, take a deep, take a deep breath, and relax. I speak unto thee this day, and I say, do not, absolutely do not set up in a mold as to how you think that thing should be. For I say, when I, the living God, do give you changes, I say, go with the changes, for in so doing you are following me. But I say, if you stubbornly, proudly resist any changes that I bring about because you want things another way, then I say, it is not me that you're serving at all. But I say, you are serving an image of how things ought to be, and I say, that is not of me. Now I say, this day when I, the living God, have intended that my people would follow me, that means that they move with me. That means that they do obey me, that they do come forth in what it is that I require and desire. For I say, if you will keep moving with me, if you will be living in obedience unto me, then I say that you are guided by me. And yes, you are given the strength, the truth, the blessedness of who I am. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do give to the ones who walk uprightly the way that is eternal, the way that is blessed, the way that is truth and life. And I say, when any people will walk in obedience unto me, then I say that they are brought forth in my way. And yes, they are given the strength to continue the blessedness, the hope, the peace that I provide. For I say, it is me, the living God, who does give the righteousness, the truth, the mercy, the hope of who I am. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, am giving the call throughout the earth for all men, all men to repent. And I say, that is my determination, my calling for this hour. For I say, it is me, the living God, who does see the condition of men. And I say, when men will fail to hear that call and go on in their own headstrong ways, playing their religious games, I say they are empty-headed fools. For I say they are pursuing the wind and bringing forth nothing through it all. I say in this day that I, the living God, am serious about calling men to repentance because they are desperately needy of the same. That is, they are needy of humbling themselves, of bowing down low, of being subject to me. For I say when men will truly repent and subject themselves unto me, then I say that they can be brought forth in my way. And I say they can learn to truly follow, follow, follow me. But I say when men are self-willed and determined to have it their way, then I say they will follow for a season and fall away. And I say they will fall away because they give way to an evil heart of unbelief. That is, they want things to be a certain way whereby they feel that they are in control of things. But I say that I, the living God, do not lead men to be in control, but I say that I lead men to be subject to me. That is, to be needy of me, to be needy of my truth, my light, my mercy in their lives. Now I say this day when you consider that it is me, the living God, who does offer unto thee the way of my truth, my light, my mercy, I say, be thankful unto me. That is, be thankful that you are uplifted, guided, and brought forth in the truth to light, the blessedness that I provide. And I say, be thankful that through me you are given the hope that I, the living God, alone do bring, for I am indeed well able. When I say, it is me, the living God, who is righteousness, truth, blessedness, strength, and mercy provided. Therefore, I say this day, be thankful to be faithful unto me, to be walking in the way, to be following me whithersoever I lead. For I say, when you truly will keep your vision single that is upon me, 
then I say you will know that you may find me wherever I am. That is, you may find me in the most obscure of places whereby there is no recognition of man. And I say you will find me in the humility way for that is where I abide. I say this day be thankful to continue, be thankful to be uplifted and guided, be thankful to be yielded unto me. For I say that the joy is not in exaltation in the presence of men, but I say that the joy is in communion with me. For I say when any man will be in communion with me, then I say that he's found in life. But I say when a man will seek to be well spoken of, approved and applauded of men, I say he has crossed over into death. I say this day that I don't have God do not call you to death, but I say that I call you to the life, I call you to the truth, I call you to the mercy of who I am. And I say that I call you to be thankful each day that you can indeed continue to believe me, to trust me, and be brought forth in me, for I am the I am. That is, it is me, the living God, who is well able to guide forth any and all who believes upon me. And it is me, the living God, who is able to guide forth the ones who keep their covenants, their vows ever in me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend you to walk uprightly. I say that I do intend you to be coming forth ever guided in me. And I say that I call you to be thankful for the privilege to believe upon me, to trust me, and obey me each day. For I say, if you truly will allow yourselves to be invigorated by the power of my presence, then I say you will not seek after the world. But I say, if you are lazy towards your relationship with me, then I say you will take the cheap way that is the approval of man. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am giving a call throughout the earth that any and all who hears, who will obey, can be brought forth in my way. That is, they can be uplifted, strengthened, directed, and guided. For it is me, the living God, who will give my guidance unto them. And it is me, the living God, who will cause them to be uplifted, brought forth, and ever strengthened in me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is indeed the way that is righteousness and truth, the way that is mercy and hope, and the way that is peace provided. Therefore, I say, continue as a steadfast people who are ever hoping, believing, and looking to me. And I say, continue in the strength of truth that I give thee, for it is me, the living God, who brings you forth. And it is me, the living God, who will direct, correct, and instruct you, for yes, indeed, you are mine. For I say, it is a privilege to keep on looking unto me, believing in me, and being brought forth in my way. And I say, it is a privilege to be knowing that through me you are instructed, directed, and corrected, for I am the one who gives you eternal life. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to be estranged from me, but I say that I call you to come forth in my way. And I say that I call you to be made glad each day that you can be purposed, directed, and guided by me. And I say that I call you to be knowing that in me you are given the hope, the peace, and the safety each and every day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is righteous and is truth, mercy, life, and the hope provided as you continue in me. Therefore I say, be faithful, be true, be steady, because it is me you are privileged to look unto and believe. And I say, be confident in me as thy maker, thy keeper, the one true God who is able to bring you forth. For I say, if you will keep faithful and true, if you will keep in repentance, revolution each day, then of course you are walking in my humility way. But I say, when you deviate, when you seek to gain recognition of men, you go in the way of those who are fools before me. Now I say, this day, when you look at the multitudes who claim they are mine, what do you see? I say, you see men and women who have given themselves over to whoredom and wine, who have given themselves over to a multitude of false gods, who have given themselves to deceit. And I say, you see men and women who are going in the way of their own destruction, their own demise. And I say, it is because they have chosen to live in opposition to me. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, do not call you to opposition, but I say that I call you to walk uprightly in me. That is, to be ever guided, brought forth, directed, and corrected in my way. And I say that I call you to be thankful that it is me you can look to and believe. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness and truth, the way that is mercy and hope, and the way that is peace provided. Therefore I say, be a people who are proving to be faithful, to be true, to be steady in me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is all righteousness and truth, it is me, the living God, who is all strength and hope, and it is me, the living God, you can believe in day by day. For I say, when you will continue in that which I give you, you are guided in life. I say, continue to follow, to follow, to follow me. For I say, if you will, in your will, to obey my commands, to obey my desires, and follow in the way that I lead thee, then I say, you are found well pleasing. 
But I say if you have created in your mind an image of yourself in one stationary position, then I say you have stopped following me. For I say that I, the living God, do not bow to the images of men, but I say that men are men to bow unto me. Therefore I say this day continue in repentance that is changing your ways. And I say continue to live in repentance declaring the same. For I say, when you are indeed active in repentance, then I say you are able to bear much fruit in me. But I say, if you are ever looking for your own estate, your own understanding, I say you are looking for the way of a fool. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to be fools, but I say that I call you to be made wise in me. That is, uplifted, directed, and guided forth in the blessedness, the truth, the light, the strength that I provide. Now I say, this day count it a privilege to keep on trusting, to keep on believing, to keep on following after. And I say, count it a privilege to be directed in that which I give you time and again. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will give to the ones who serve me the way wherein they can be kept. And it is me, the living God, who will give to the ones who will obey me the way of eternal life. I say, in a wayward, a perverse, a vile, a wicked generation, consider that I, the living God, will give unto you the truth always. That is, if you will come forth rejoicing, if you will be uplifted and make glad that it is me you serve. For I say that I, the living God, will give to my people the rewards of the righteous as they continue steadfast in me. That is, ever coming forth in the way of repentance, revolution, which is the way of my life. For I say if men are not truly repentant, then I say they are merely religious. I say they are pretenders and hypocrites going in their own way. And oh, they may put on great religious expositions and shows. They may declare how humble they are. They may strut in the presence of men. But I say such ones are disgusting because they have rejected repentance and returning unto me. And I say they have rejected the humility way which is my life. I say this day, be thankful that I, the living God, will guide you in truth. I will direct you in the way that I intend, if you will pay heed to me. And I say, do not be smug in religiosity. Do not be smug in an image of yourself. But I say, each day, be humbling yourselves in order to be subject to me. That is, that you can indeed be brought forth, guided, directed, and corrected in my way. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do offer unto you the truth, the light, the strength, and the mercy, I say walk in the same. And I say be made glad that through me you are given the hope, the peace, and the safety day by day. I say be made glad that through me you are given the truth and the strength to endure in the same. For I say it is me, the living God, who is righteousness, truth, mercy, light, and the peace provided for all who cleave unto me. Now I say this day do not, absolutely do not grow weary in well-doing, but I say continue steadfast in me. For I say it is me, the living God, who does care for thee, and it is me, the living God, who does guide you in the way that you needs be guided by me. For I say it is me, the living God, who does give you the truth, the light, the mercy, the hope, and the peace day by day. And it is me, the living God, who will ever uplift, direct, correct, and guide any and all who believes upon me. Now I say, therefore, this day, do not look to the vanity of the world, do not look to the stupidity, the darkness of the saints. But I say, be ever looking unto me, believing and trusting, for I am well able. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness, the way that is truth, and the way that is mercy provided. And it is me, the living God, who will cause you to be guided forth, uplifted, directed, and corrected by me. Therefore, I say, continue to keep on trusting, believing, and looking to me, because it is me that you serve. And I say, continue to be ever thankful that I am indeed the I am God. That is, I am the one who is truth and light, I am the one who is strength and mercy, and I am the one who is present unto thee. Therefore I say, be steady, be true, be faithful unto me, because it is me you are privileged to serve. And I say, even this day, be thankful that you can indeed follow me. Now I say, if you consider how stupid men are when they think they make their own way, I say they only take themselves in the course of destruction. But I say, when men will be true followers, that is, coming where I am, then I say they are pleasing me. And I say, the way to continue to follow is to continue to repent. Then you will not grow high-minded, smug, nor proud, but you will see your utter need of me. who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant. Equip you with everything good, that you may do his will, working in us that which is pleasing in his sight.
through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen.